Hi there. I'm going to do a reading tonight to um, bring in some questions about life purpose and everyone's going through, a, many of us on our YouTube community obviously going through these shifts of energy and vibrations and, uh, and the frequencies and, that we're hearing also because we have to open up to our psychic abilities, our intuition. At this time more than ever, we have to let go of that ego mind and tap from our heart center, our, our love within. And I'm going to do a reading regarding with Doreen Virtue's decks of the life purpose. Okay. And this is the deck here, her life oracle cards, life purpose oracle cards, Dorian Virtue. And then I'm also going to work with Saint Raphael. He's our healing angel, also by Dorian Virtue, the Archangel Raphael healing cards, to see what he has to say about how to heal through this transition. transition. And also... I brought my dragon tarot out because um, in the last couple of readings I've done, I saw or witnessed the swords and the dragon's fire come out. So we just want to see from a deck that I am familiar with um, what, what they have to say today. Okay, well, let's start and we're going to go with the life purpose deck first. And as usual, I'm already centered, and the question is, what is our life purpose? And we're going to pick three cards from this deck, and I'll just set them here for now. Then we'll turn them over. All right, three from the life purpose, and then we're going to do three of... Archangel Raphael to see the suggestions for how to heal so we're aware of what is going on with us right now. So we're prepared for what is dawning here before us as we bring this planet into a, a love-centered planet and hopefully no more unnecessary wars, just peace and love and light. Okay, and the dragons are here. Three cards for them. And then we'll read them individually and see how our story unfolds for this journey we're working on tonight. Okay, the first card says travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Well, you can see he's on a laptop also in an airport. And um, it could mean lots of travel. It means obviously that you also work via the, the internet um, through communications. And I think that's all positive. And sometimes you could be doing this work from your home, and but be traveling around the internet all over the globe. So it can be considered that, but obviously a technology um, communication for as a life purpose. And here we have protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Well, this is awesome to know if, you know, if we are asking ourselves, what is my purpose? What is my mission? I'm, I want to help heal this earth and myself and my family and my loved ones, friends, so forth, neighbors. And we are protected. We are protected, so continue. Feel supported. If you want to change a career or, or start something part-time, whatever it is, as long as it comes from your heart, your core, your center, it, it will all develop into infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Well, here we are. The angels are speaking out loud and this is what the shift is all about the light beings the ones who are about light and love they are they are beseeching us now they are here they've been here but now they're making themselves 
seen and heard through through cards like this and and if you just watch the YouTube these the scenarios that are happening is amazing okay we're turning now to the healing cards of um, Archangel Raphael and here it says fresh air fresh air dear Archangel Raphael thank you for helping me breathe easier in all ways and how many of us have been sharing get outdoors open up the windows you know those dust those curtains just get that fresh air let that let the wind come in through the windows you know open them up and go outdoors walk your pets your children you see that he he has his animals here you know sort of like a surf you know saint francis of assisi just just it's just a good vibration just even the image a beautiful golden winged angel caressing his kitty and his dog it's all about that feeling people that and that vibration okay and then the next card hydration another important thing that we have to do is drink plenty of clean water clean water if, if you know I sometimes run out of the bottled water and you know I just boil whatever comes out of the faucet and just put it in the refrigerator you don't have to buy water just boil it in case in certain areas it's you know too chemically loaded but here we are dear Archangel Raphael thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health energy and appetite stay at optimal levels throughout each day and again so important again we've talked about how approximately we're you know 70 75 percent made up of water and it's a you know it works with electricity currents again we won't go too much into that right now but it, you know you got to drink that clean water hydrate so important and that's how you get your your psychic intuitive cells working for you too okay when your body is clean that's how we can tap these messages from the from the souls of, of beauty and light okay have faith Ugh. well that's the bottom line right even even if we want to read all the tarot cards in the deck which are 78 to 80 how you have to have faith you have to have a belief system no matter what beings or higher realms or you believe in ascended masters angels whatever you believe in you have to have faith in their messages and in, in, in their signs okay well that's lovely now we're gonna bring our dragons in and see how they're gonna bring in okay well we're starting with the fool and we know that the fools about new beginnings right ruled by the planet Uranus and I, I think Pluto and Uranus are going retrograde. Oh my gosh, let me, I, I think I kind of heard or read that somewhere. But anyway, Uranus is in the house here. And, you know, it is about, we're starting this journey here. And we need to learn how to get to that ascension gateway where we're going to find love and light and happiness and, and get along better with our coworkers, our friends, our family, our loved ones. And, but it is a journey. This is the zero card, the first card in the tarot. So there's a lot to learn, but we can do this all together as a collective group. Okay? All right. So, so far the dragon is saying, just keep on learning what we have to do, and we'll be on the right track. Here we go. The next card is the four of wands. Okay? And wands have to do with... Um, fire they're they're the dragons like in the other deck that the, they use the dragon for the fire and um fours are usually you know there's like a respect with this card okay and and we're going to make sure that we keep that respect alive for ourselves because here we're suggesting starting a new purpose in life well we have to believe in ourselves we we really do and fours the number four here, four of wands, is also about fours are about stability. So, so get that footing set, get your gut intuition going, and flow with it. Because if you believe in the process as this new mission to show peace, love, and light on the planet, the abundance will come. They will not forget us. They know who their warriors are, their spiritual warriors, and they 
want recognition and triumph and victory. And at the end, like the tarot, the number 21, it's the world card, the universe. You have finally, you know, found your place. So let's let's hope that we can continue to follow what the angel said. Oh boy, okay. I usually leave this leave this wild card in here in case if it comes up. So and if it does, it means sort of to me kind of a double strength of what we need to read here. And what it is is going to be the world card, which I was just sharing. How exciting. Beautiful. This is, you know, the consummation. The world card. How wonderful. See, the dragons are with us too. You know, they are weapons of destruction, but they are for the their side of this kind of warfare between light and darkness. They are here for us too. I love the dragons. They bring an energy that is fierce, but nonetheless, they are loyal too. Wonderful. And that was a double whammy for the world card, double energy, because this is just reads about the dragon tarot a little bit, but I leave it in there just for this purpose. So I think it's magical. And I do have this one bonus deck I will bring up by Lucy Cavendish, one of her first decks. I'm a, I can't even remember when I got it, but it's a magical spell and it's got a little mermaid tail. So that's sort of, I kind of call them my first mermaid cards, but we'll just bring one last card for the end here to see what it has to say. Imagination. All right, my friends, what does that mean? We have a purpose and a mission when you Journal your dreams if you can. If you, you don't wake up visually with the dreams, write something down when you can. Daydream. Daydream's a good thing. You know, turn the technology off and just take a rest. That could be your meditation time and daydream. You don't have to go to take a nap, but you can just get the chatter out and come, let the messages come in. And use that imagination. Oh, that's very exciting. Well, obviously, the angels are here protecting us on what our purpose is going to be. I love this one, infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Again, get out or outdoors for fresh air. Drink plenty of clean water. Have faith. Have faith, people. we got to have faith. No doubt about it. And um, we know we're on this journey to learn what is going on. We have to heal ourselves, but through this journey, the world card, at the end, we come to where they want us to be, in, in, in a world full of hype, happiness, and, and just, you know, gaining the knowledge of the earth realm and the universe, bringing it all into balance. Wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and uh, got to get on this life mission, people. We have to save our mother earth and ourselves and uh we can do this one step at a time okay have a great one talk to you soon bye